Hello, hello. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie, and this is my sewing room. And Friday Sews is a little bit of sewing and a little bit of life all jumbled together in a little chat. And so I look forward to having that chat with you today. I have missed the last two Fridays, and I'm super sad about it. Uh, just kind of a little recap. I did miss last Friday because I was camping and you'll be hearing about that on my channel soon. I have lots of little clips I need to put together to show you what a fun time we had. Oh my gosh, more about that in the life part. Let's stick with the sewing first because I got a lot to share. Um, but the week before I actually had a video and I had some really fun stuff that I made and I shared, but I made a mistake. And I have a video talking about that. I had made some cute palazzo pants to go over my swimsuit. And I said I wanted to wear them in my kayak to keep from getting sunburned. Uh, somebody pointed out that, that if I fell in the water, that would be hindering me swimming. And that's so true. So I removed the video. I don't want to put anybody in danger. And I'm not wearing the pants to go kayaking, ever. But they're super cute. And I'm making another pair. And that's on my list of things to do. So let me just show the swimsuit that I had to erase last week. <laughs> I made this swimsuit, which is from the pattern, Pattern for Pirates Minute Melo. It is my swimsuit of choice, and I am just so comfy in it. This is my favorite one, by the way, comfort-wise. It is just so comfy. I think it's because the fabric is nice and thin, so it doesn't feel like tight. Um, the ones that have the thicker fabric is, is a little more flattering for all the bumps and jiggles that women my age have, or lots of women have at any age, pretty much. But this one shows every bump and jiggle, but I don't care because it's so comfortable. Like, second skin. I made a cute little sundress, swim dress, to go over it. And I put little slits in the side. I didn't even take it off. I didn't need to, it's like, that's the swimsuit, <laughs> this over that loved it also very lightweight super easy now this is made from a new look 6449 and I have just enjoyed this pattern what I did is I sort of um tweaked this to fit me and I've made this over and over and over and um if I wanted a little looser I just cut it a little wider than the pattern piece I made my own pattern piece from this pattern and if I want it a little more snug or the fabric's really loose and stretchy, then I'll cut it to size. But this one I cut a little large because this fabric, I didn't want it to be super clingy. So that's what I did. Also, it has um, a neck binding and an arm binding and I didn't use those. I searched it and turned it under once. That's what I did. So it was super easy. I made my own little slit. I cut it a little short because it's a swim dress. I can swim in this, it's swimsuit fabric. Um, the, the pants in question, um, they're not here. I'm going to show you a picture of the whole suit right now, the whole outfit. I love those pants, love them. And I'm going to make more because once I love something, I have to have several. That's just the way it is. So my plan is, um, as much as I love this swimsuit, I'm going to make another one. Uh, believe it or not, for Labor Day. And I went specifically looking for black, but not black. I wanted something that had a little pattern in it. And this has a tiny bit of blue squares mixed in with the black. So I'm going to make the swim suit, the swim dress, just like this one, and then the palazzo pants, like the white ones I just showed you, out of this sh sort of sheer, light, flowy fabric. How fun is that? I love this so much. I think it would be cute over leggings in the winter, just for fun, you know, to have something fun to wear. So that's my next up, and it's coming quick because I'm going to have it for this weekend. That's happening, for reals. The pant pattern comes from New Look 6762, and I also adjusted this to fit me as well. Um, one of the things I did was I, to make it palazzo is I added inches to both sides and then I put a yoga waistband instead of this elastic waistband and that turned out so fun and cute that I can't wait to make it with black. It's going to be so cute. Oh my gosh. I love that fabric. Okay. That's what I'm going to be working on next. 
Okay, before I tell you my sewing projects for this week, I want to talk about seasonal sewing. So I'm old school when it comes to the seasons. I was sort of taught early on that you wear certain clothes for summer and certain clothes for winter and the date of change is Easter and Labor Day. That's just where I have it in my, in my way of doing things and I've been doing that ever since. And I have to say, I'm not gonna do that anymore because the dates are just not right. Like it is Labor Day weekend this weekend and we're having the hottest weather probably of the whole year. So why would I have my winter clothes out for the hottest weather? And in the spring, when Easter comes, sometimes it's really still cold and I, I have to go searching for summer clothes when I'm not ready to switch to summer. So I am going to let the weather dictate my switch over and not the season, not the, not the date. <laughs> I'm free, I'm free. Oh my gosh, you guys, we just have all these rules about white shoes and wool and everything. And I'm just not, I'm, you know, I can say I'm from California and we don't do that. People used to always say that to me. We're from California. We don't wear nylons. That was in the 80s. We don't wear nylons. And I'm like, I love that. <laughs> Who wants to wear nylons? Uh, this is cool. So, end of season coming into fall and I'm making sundresses. That's what I made. I just thought, you know, before it does turn and I do want fall, I wanted to get some more of my fun summer fabrics in my closet and wear them. Last minute summer sewing. That's what I've been thinking of it as. So I made two of these little dresses because I've got this down to a fine science. And I started with this one. And this is uh, just a soft sweatery uh, French terry and it's so comfy and I don't do stripes like I don't like stripes because they're not flattering but I couldn't resist these colors so I thought it would make a top or something well it has made a super cute dress and I'm going to model it for you now. I love this dress so much. I didn't put pockets in it kind of regret that a little bit, but I wanted a nice smooth line without any bumps or bulges. And sometimes pockets can be a little bulgy in this such thin fabric, but I think it would have been fine, especially when I made this dress. So I thought this would, this would be cool if it was long. And I had plenty of this fabric. This was from High Fashion Fabrics in Sacramento. I had a fashion haul on it, and I have another piece that's just like this, but a different color. I'll save that for next spring. But this dress, I mean, really, I just, um, I didn't even use this, the neck bindings or the arm bindings. I just folded it twice and top stitched it. That's it. And I put a nice big slit in the side. And um, let me just show it to you real quick. I can't stop wearing this dress. I am in love with this dress. It's so comfy. Now, when I laid my pattern down, I wanted this loose and flowy, so I added a little bit on each side. I just cut it bigger. And you can just kind of play with your dimensions yourself. And this fits really nicely. It's super loose. It's a little bigger than this one's a little more fitted, and I wanted this one looser. I did put the pockets in. I did put the slits in, and it's just a super comfy, super pretty dress. I just love it. Love it. So that's from this and a little bit of tweaking and I could have five more, but I feel like I better stop making summer dresses because it will get cold eventually and I'll be wishing for some fall stuff, but I'm not, I'm not going to go switch my closet over until I need to. And you know, I want to, because right now I'm not going to wear boots and a sweater. It is boiling hot. Like they're putting out heat advisories for California this weekend. So no, not a good time to pull out boots and sweaters. Just not there. <laughs> We're just not there. So um, I started thinking, you know, I want to show you my closet because I do this big switch over and I've been glamping up my closet. I know glamping is for camping, but I feel like a glamorous closet. It's a glamorous, I have been playing with my closet for like a year and it is the most amazing closet I've ever had. And so I'm going to take you in my closet when I do my switch over. So in a, two or three weeks when uh, the weather switches and I'm switching over my closet, I'm gonna film it and show you this fabulous closet that I have created. 
that I am super in love with. Like, amazing. I'm concentrating on building more stash, even though I have a pretty generous one right now because prices are going up on fabric and I want to have plenty at this price, you know, at these prices before it goes up so that I don't have to, you know, honestly, if prices go up too high, I won't be able to buy it. It's just too much, you know, it gets to that point. So I'm kind of thinking I had some money set aside. I always have a little budget for buying fabric. I want to use that as much as possible while fabric is low. And on that note, I'm going to be posting a really cool fabric haul that I just did, including these two pieces. So I got more, uh, but I don't know. I mean, have you thought about that? I mean, are you thinking like that too? You want to just sort of stock up? I had an amazing camping trip with my friends. We were gone eight days and we do this every year, except last year there was a big fire and we couldn't go. But every year we're down there for eight days and we're only an hour from home. So sometimes I'm just like, I want to go home for a day or two. One year it was raining a lot. And I stayed home like three days out of my eight <laughs> that I paid for. Uh, also wasn't in my cool trailer that I have now. I was in one that had um, canvas ends. So not as fun in the rain. Not that it was a problem, but... I just love my new trailer so much. I never wanted to go home. And we just had so much fun. The guys did go home and come back a little bit, um, all the husbands. But us girls, we just stayed and had such a great time. So I'm going to be doing a video on that trip. And um, I'm going to do another video showing you some cool stuff I got for my trailer. So if you are a trailer person, you'll want to come back for those sometime in the next two or three weeks. i uh, got to get those out because i got some really th cool things to share. But just had a wonderful time and a couple of thoughts on that is no makeup and no hairdo the whole time I was gone it was just camping and sometimes I do fix my hair and makeup when I'm camping but not this time maybe I'm just changing I don't know I don't know but uh it's just nice it's nice to kind of just fall in love with myself the way I look without makeup because I really do love the way I look with makeup I like it better still do but it was nice and so it was really nice to get dressed up for you guys today because this is the first time since I went camping that I've actually, no, no, strike that. I never go to church without makeup. So we left camp to go to church and uh, it's only an hour. So we just went home the night before, spent the night so I could leave my dog at home, go to church, come pick up my dog and go back. I was just going to go in the morning and I thought, what am I going to do with Buster? He can't sit in the car. It's too hot. So I love my life around a dog. I can't help it. I love him so much. All right. So let's see. What have I left you with? That's it. That's it. I got it all. There's so much. It felt like so much more. Uh, it was really hard to delete my video from when I made my mistake. And, um, you know, every video is kind of like a little baby to us creators. You know, we put our time and effort into it. And it was obviously something I was happy with since I posted it. And it was hard for me to hit that delete button. Uh, and I'm happy I did. I was immediately relieved because I totally made a mistake and I got that and I didn't want that on me like at all. So it was really glad to get it deleted. But I, you know, I had a lot of good other stuff in there besides that. So it was lost. And, you know, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to you guys for being such a great, um, you know, um, group of people to be connected with that you would care enough to say something in such a nice way, such a nice way to let me know that I had made that mistake. And I appreciated that. And, um, I appreciate your patience for me missing two Fridays, not just one, which I intended to only miss one, but I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. And honestly, I am like ready and raring. I've got like a list of videos. I want to do my closet, my swimsuit, my trailer, my trip, and I have so much more um, ideas. And I just want to say thank you for for that so much. Thank you. So I've got other things coming. And um, with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great weekend. I look forward to visiting with you in the comments. I'm sorry for all those comments I didn't get to answer from the one that I had to delete. So sorry. I saw every one of them, but I was going to sit down and answer all of them, and I had to delete it. I didn't have time. And if I had answered them and then deleted it, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> you would have never known. <sighs> so it's, all gone. it's all gone at the same time. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on seasonal sewing and... I mean, I'm just going to be a renegade. I'm going to sew around what I want. Like if I want a summer dress in September, 
I might make one. Who knows? A swimsuit in September? Whatever. It's my life. I do whatever I want, right? I've just been sticking to that rule for so long. Why? It's so silly. <laughs> this is my little um, ritual. It was like a ritual. It's still going to be a ritual, but on my timing, I say when. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.